Hi everybody, welcome down to Carter's Golf and welcome to Jamira Golf Estates. And today's video is quite possibly the simplest golf tip video I'm ever going to give. And we're talking ball position. Now I say it's simple because it's something I think is very easy to remember, but it's actually something that's very, very important. Something that's really often overlooked. Golfers, and certainly in recent times, it's kind of prompted me to do this video is that they're coming to the goal and they have different a lot of misconceptions about what the ball what their ball position should be with certain clubs now i feel that we have just three ball positions and i joked with one client recently that he, he literally has 14 ball positions um so i want to try and clear the air in my opinion obviously what i think your ball position should be and what makes it then so much easier to relate to to remember on the golf course and therefore execute the best possible shots that you can. So first things first, if I set up to this ball here, this ball is gonna be in the middle of my stance, okay? So from here, we're gonna have seven, eight, nine, pitching wedge, sand wedge, lob wedge, okay? That is, that is all. We're never gonna see the ball position go further and further back the lower the club gets, okay? The third, unless you're hitting I can, what I would say is a specialised golf shot, like a punch or a back of the foot, chip and run type of shot. This is purely for your conventional golf shot, your full swing, okay? Seven to sand wedge, or seven to love wedge goes in the middle of the stance. All right, so that is where I'm gonna get, with the length of the club and the loft, on the, the loft of the club, it's where I'm gonna get the best compression and the best strike. As we start to move up the clubs, then we're gonna see the ball position just edge forward ever so slightly. So I would suggest if you have a three wood, a five wood, all of the hybrids, four iron, five iron, six iron, this ball position now goes ever so slightly further forward than center, okay? So if I, I'm here now with a six iron, the ball position is gonna be at center, ball position is gonna be ever so slightly further forward. You could, as well as a reaction to the club being a little bit longer, widen the stance ever so slightly. But if I'm here with a seven iron, I'm not gonna be here with a six. I'm gonna probably stay the same with a six. I might start to make it a slight bit bigger, if I have a five wood or a hybrid or a three wood in my hand. But when I say a slight bit bigger, I'm talking half an inch either side with either foot. Very small amounts. We don't want to end up with such a wide stance that we're very limited in our rotation and we're limited in the weight shift, okay? So the width of stance, up until you get to drive, is not really going to change so much, okay? So I would have everything from three wood right down to six iron, Sometimes I'll have six iron in the centre, but certainly up to six iron, just ever so slightly forward of centre. The only ball position I'm going to have towards my front foot is going to be the big dog, the big, the, the big stick, the driver. The driver is going to be just on the inside of the front heel. Okay, there's not going to be a three with there. There's not going to be a five with there. Whether you team the ball up or not, it's only going to be the driver as I hit this shot. Okay, the ball position where the driver is just forward of the front heel. So that now leaves me with just three ball positions and not 14. The mid iron, seven iron to sandwich goes in the middle. The driver goes on the front heel and everything in between goes in between of the two, okay? Three ball positions. Now, if you're playing shots into wind, if you're trying to hit punch shots, if you're trying to hit low shots, you will manipulate the, the setup position. Okay, if I want to hit a low four iron, I will maybe pull it back towards the center. Does increase the probability the ball goes to the right maybe, but it also helps me hit the ball lower. So I've got to maybe approach the shot in a slightly different way. But one of the first things that, and from a conventional kind of normal, so to speak, golf shot, I would have no more than three ball positions. If there's any questions, guys, please do leave them below. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this tip. Very simple. It's probably as simple as it's ever going to get. So please do take that on board when you are going to the golf course. Thank you for watching. Please hit that subscribe button. And it's been a very nice wintery Dubai. We'll see you very soon.